Hi, this is Tim here from z and Comic Videos, and today I will be giving a review on Justice League issue number 13. This issue starts out with a flashback of the Superman and Wonder Woman kiss that happened in issue 12. That was a huge deal. Um, so Superman and Wonder Woman are dating, and um, then it uh, moves on to Wonder Woman having a huge fight with uh, the Cheetah, but Wonder, Wonder, oh, sorry, Wonder Woman is holding back because... Well, Wonder Woman and Cheetah were actually best friends at a point. But I'll get to that later. So, Wonder Woman gets beaten down by the Cheetah. And the Cheetah just runs away. And the Justice League finds her. And everyone is really shocked as how Wonder Woman was beaten down. Like, because she never gives up a fight. So then, Aqu uh, Aquaman and Batman visit Steve Trevor in the hospital to get information of the Cheetah. And while that happens, Superman and Wonder Woman have a talk about the cheetah. And Wonder Woman just uh, has a problem with, like, everyone getting in her business. And she says that um, the cheetah is my my uh, job, not the Justice League's. But the, Super, uh, the uh, Wonder Woman talks to Superman about the cheetah. And between uh Batman Aquaman talking to see Trevor and Superman and Wonder Woman talking about what happened. We learned the origin of the cheetah. And the origin is uh well I'm just going to say it right off the comic. It's uh Barbara Minerva is Barbara Minerva is the cheetah. That's her name. And Barva Barba and Dinah were best friends at a point. And they met at the Smithsonian's where Barba was working and there was a terrorist attack which ended up being a cover up for a conceal to, to conceal robbery. Diana charged in and did what she does best. For the next several months, Barbara helped Diana and me on a chase, uh, chase that tried to, that tied to the mythological world. So, Barbara and Diana met at a, uh, at the Miss Smithsonian's where there was a terrorist attack to cover up a robbery. And everyone, okay, this is right off the comic, everyone knew Barbara was working with Wonder Woman, so she became the go-to person for identifying and cataloging potential dangerous artifacts. She oversaw the black room at ARGUS, where we sort and store those types of items. One day, Diana came into possession of a ritual dagger from a lost tribe in Amazon, and Barbara cut herself on it, and she was possessed by the goddess of the hunt, the bloodthirsty cheetah. They clash on and off for years, but the cheetah's always been elusive. She disappears for months at a time. And, um, so that's the origin of the cheetah. And Diana blames herself for what happened to Barbara. So after everyone in the whole... Oh, uh, sorry. The Flash and Cyborg secretly listened to what Superman and Wonder Woman were saying. So now the whole Justice League knows the origin of the cheetah. And they all go to the secret tribe, which they think, like, where they found the dagger and everything, and the cheetah jumps the Justice League, and everyone gets taken down, and the super and Superman gets, like, bitten by the cheetah, and the last page of the comic is the Superman with a, the face of a cheetah. So basically, the next time, Justice League has to face Superman, which is pretty pretty big deal without the Green Lantern in there. And then the backup story after it is actually a tie-in with Justice League of America. It's, um... Green Arrow is at a bar, and he's and he's just drinking. And um, Amanda Waller walks in, who's not fat. Just saying that she's not fat. Um, she walks in, and she just explains how he got kicked off the Justice League and stuff, and just like how like maybe he should start his own team. And then Green Arrow comes in, which who, Green Arrow and C. Trevor are both in Justice League of America. They come in, they start talking, and Green Arrow just brings up how he was fighting these weird, like, molting people that could explain, that could expand, and he found this, like, weird compass thing that has a face on it, and he thinks it's a really big deal, so they were just talking about that, and, like, I'm the face looks almost like some really important, so the Just Leave of America is basically going to be them fighting this thing that the Green Arrow fault. So that's basically uh, Superman, uh, sorry, Justice League 13. Um, I give this issue uh, 7.5, 8 out of 10, which is like great. Like a number, a 10 would be excellent. 
So that's about it, and uh, please like and subscribe.